MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the New Hampshire Fisher Cats and the Harrisburg Senators. It's baseball on the show, and Ladies it's coming and up next. Your Harrisburg Senators. Now with the plate is Riquelvin DeCastro, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Sixty four degrees our temperature here at first pitch this afternoon. And that misses ball four so a good battle to begin the ball game today but the leadoff man will reach first anyway. The third base. And stepping in for Elvis Martinez. A one one home. Swung on and missed for strike number two. when Yank just foul. Again, a one-two. And another foul ball. DeCastro on at first. Nobody out. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Full count now. 3-2 pitch. Breaks as bad as this one's popped up. And there's one down now. Now it'll be Nash Knight as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. One out and a runner on second base. Change up just off the black and it's two and one. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next, it'll be Will Robertson, the runner in scoring position with two gone. Robertson. Here's a ball well struck for the right field corner. And that'll get down out there near the wall. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The center field. Into the box, Desan Brown hit in the air down the right field line. Keller is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Now into the box, Jordy Barley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. two strike. Hey, great job by the offense right here to put a number up on the board and allow this young gun to go out on the mound, relax a little bit, and establish that good fastball. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Into the windup and the pitch. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Vigil gathers, and the oh. throw is there to record the first down. Now to bat, Israel Pineda. The catcher, Israel Pineda. One and two now as that one's fouled off. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Robertson is there, two down. Next to hit is Ali Castillo. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. The 2-1 home. Two out, nobody on. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Going to be a tough play. Throw in time and the side is retired.
second inning set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, Rodrigo Vigil. high two and two now we just saw a fastball right there I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone number 30 from the windup the one one pitch just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two fouled off got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Marte is there, two gone. Into the box, Esteban Machado. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Stepping up is Ian Sagdahl. has to give here's the payoff pitch high fly ball out to straightaway center Brown has to roam straight back but he has it for the first down next here is Nick good. Banks the left fielder and he struck him out Next to dig in, Alec Keller. The right fielder. Bases are empty here with two men out. Short, hit hard. What a play, and that ends the inning. And now here is Forrest Wall, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Lifted the other way out to left center. Banks, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Riquelvin DeCastro. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Line to the right side. Oh, but a super diving catch takes away a hit. Digging in will be Orelvis Martinez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Two out, nobody on. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have 3 4 5 do up to start the next inning. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. for the last half of the inning and standing in is the DH Jackson Clough the one and two pitch hit on the ground to third reined in and there's one away up next Daniel Marte bases are empty one man out. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got... Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Going back is the right fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. 
And now in the box, Cole Freeman. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Here's the one and one delivery. Two balls, one strike. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three-ball count kind of feels like a little mini-rally. Let's see if he can get on. High and deep down the left field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Vigil finds it. The throw oh. to first is in time, and the inning is over. So now here is Nash Knight. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the 1 1. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Swing and a miss at a changeup that has him all kinds of goofed up at the plate. He pulls this one into right, and that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. The right fielder, Will Robertson. In now, Will Robertson. Two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Knight over at second. Robertson on at first with nobody out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Fielded cleanly to second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Ready now is Rodrigo Vigio. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Two outs here with a runner at third. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Jordy Barley. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Israel. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Now at the plate, here is Ali Castillo. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that misses 2 and 1. Line drive to center field. Brown is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ian Sagdahl. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Sagdahl. Now the three and two pitch. Here's another shot down the line in right. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. The tying run comes all the way around from first to score. The left field, number three. Nick. So now to the plate, Nick Banks. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Robertson has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. To the plate now is the designated hitter, number 30. He'll start off the fifth in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on and missed. One, one and two now. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. 
Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Now back. Striding in is Esteban Machado. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Down the third baseline. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Now back. Left field. Wall. Stepping in now. Forest Wall. And he pops the fastball by him here. One and two now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. He'll try again, one-two. see the runner in motion here on a count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And this throw gets away from him. Next to stand in is Riquelvin De Castro. He was robbed of a hit in his last at bat, so he'll try to change his fortunes here. Yeah, you got to control the controllables, Matty. All you can do is put barrel to baseball and see what happens. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Alec Keller. Chopper, foul. One and two pitch. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Wall is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And now Jackson Clough. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next to hit, the Daniel Marte. Flied out in his first at bat, so yeah, make him 0 for 1 so far. A 1-2. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Reed Schaller takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 49. Top half of the sixth about to get started and set to go as the third baseman. Orelvis Martinez. The 1-1. One, one. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. At the plate, Nash Knight. Hit in the air out to right. Keller will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So here's the cleanup hitter, Will Robertson. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one play. Fastball and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Desan Brown waits on deck. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Going back is the center fielder. A leaping effort and he brings it in. Two away now after a great effort. Now at the center fielder, Desan Brown. Now at the plate, Desan Brown, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Martinez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. 
And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Cole Freeman. The 1-1 home is taken two for one. ball two. He's struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So the okay. lineup flips over and that's digging in. Shot. Jordy Barley. Jordy. Over one with a run scored thus far. One out, nobody on. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Next up, now Israel ready. Pineda Catcher. struck out in his Israel. last trip to the plate. Pineda. A 1 1. That's the outside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped him up. Machado over to his right. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll, and next to hit is the catcher, Rodrigo Vigil. Here comes the one two. Is laid off for ball two. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Scooped up, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Next will be the designated hitter, number 30. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 2 2. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Next up is Estevan Machado. He's one for two in this one. Two out, nobody on. Down the right field line. That's a fair ball. Around first, digging for two. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now back, left field for Wall. Standing in now. Forest wall. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Two and two. two ball. That was a great two hack ball. right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And nothing will come of the two out double as the Three inning is over. Kirby Sneed will take over on now, the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 60. Kirby. So now to the plate, Ali Castillo. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. The one, two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Now the three and two pitch. Nope. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position. Number three. So now into the box is Nick Banks. Flew out last time up. Swung on and missed, and it's two even at two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. 
He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Now the three and two pitch. And that no, misses ball. for ball Pick four. Three. So the potential go ahead run moves over to third down. The right fielder, number 21. So the next to bat will be Keller. Alec Keller. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Ball and this is low, ball two. Two Help. and one. Two and one. Into right center field, and this ball's going to get down a base hit. One run scores. He's in at second safely as two runs come across to score, and they grab the lead. Jacob Wagyu's pack has given the ball here to try to work out of a tough situation. Two runners in scoring position to deal with. Now, pitching for the number 62. Into the box now, Jackson Cross. Two balls and a strike. Banks on third. Keller is at second with nobody out. Hit back up the middle. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Number 14. In now, Daniel Marte. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Got to think it's going to be a fastball here on three and one. He definitely doesn't want to walk the bases low. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. Swing and a miss, and that's a much needed first out there. Next, it'll be Cole Freeman, and they're runners at the corners now. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The next three, two. Hit out towards second. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Brian Bunnell has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 27. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Riquelvin De Castro. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Weak roller right side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. So next to bat will be Borelvis Martinez. He's working on a one for three thus far. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. The bat. The first baseman. Into the box, Nash Knight. And that is in there at the letters to run it full three and two. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. So it was a strikeout now swinging. Back. Nash right Knight two. is sent packing for the second out of the inning. I'll try to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. out of the play Jordy Barley grounded out in his last at bat the 2 1 On the line that's a base hit into left field so we'll see if they have something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot the, bat, the catcher 
So now to the plate, Israel Pineda. In the dirt here. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. The 2-1 home. Sinks ball below three. the knees, taken for a ball. Ali Castillo waits on deck. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Wall has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. So stepping in is the Ali Castillo. He comes in 0 for 2 Ali. thus far. Castillo. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Hey. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Stepping in next, Ian Sagdahl. One baseman. for two in the ball game thus far. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Dakota Backus comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Now to the plate, here is Hassan Brown. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, but has to put the ball in play. The count now at two and one. Three and one. Right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. At the plate now is Rodrigo Vigio. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1-1. One, one. All two. Count is two and one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Got him swinging in the dirt. Pineda recovers. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Striding forward now is the DH. Number 30. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two one. Swing and a miss, Two and balls. they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Batter number six, second baseman. Stepping in now, Esteban Machado. Swing and a liner. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. And he is out at the plate. Trying to get a little too greedy when he didn't need to be. This ball game is over. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. Harrisburg jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Reed Schaller takes home the win. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com.
final line score. First for the victorious Senators, four runs on four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Fisher Cats, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 53 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.